Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the best entry level certifications in cybersecurity. So these certifications will be listed in no particular order. Some of them may be more general and have a wider breadth of topics covered. And some of them may be a bit more specialized, even for entry level roles, where one certification may target a specific role in cybersecurity or even a specific technology. So it really is up to you to decide which one is best for you and the trajectory that you want to take your career. And the first certification to start off this list is the GSEC or the GAC Security Essentials Certification. This is probably one of the most popular GX certifications, especially for entry-level roles. This certification covers everything from active defense, defense in-depth, cryptography concepts, network architecture, incident response, Linux security policies, virtualization and cloud security, as well as the Windows OS for access controls, auditing. So the GSEC certification is best for someone who is relatively new to cybersecurity, but does have some foundational knowledge about basic concepts. Maybe you majored in IT or took a few courses on network security, or maybe you just dabbled a little bit in your free time and enrolled in a few online courses or came from a bootcamp. The GSEC prepares you with foundational knowledge you'll likely need on the job around common cybersecurity topics, but that doesn't mean that it's only for beginners. On the GAC official website, it lists that this certification is good for even pen testers, managers, auditors, even forensics analysts and security admins. So it's definitely a very wide breadth certification. And I think that's one of the biggest pros when it comes to security certifications, especially in your early career, just because all the topics covered may potentially lead you down a potential career path. And of course, while not every single thing that you learn is going to be helpful or beneficial to you every day you're at your job, but I do think it's nice to have some context of the overall cybersecurity topics and concepts you may need to know on the job, as well as to prepare you for interviews, which I've mentioned in previous videos before, but when I was studying for my Security Plus certification, which is another similar, very broad cybersecurity security certification, which also happens to be on this list. And I'll be talking about that later in the video. But those same concepts I studied for my Security Plus exam, maybe a year or a year and a half before I started interviewing for other jobs, those are the same concepts I studied to prepare for those interviews. So I do think either way, preparing and studying for the certification is going to be very helpful for you, even if you don't use it on a specific job, but just for getting the job and just going through the different steps of that interview process is going to be really helpful. So the exam itself is a proctored exam with about 106 to 180 questions, which likely will vary depending on the difficulty level of the questions that you do get. The time limit is four to five hours and you need a minimum passing score of 73%. And I'll include the pricing information for the GSEC. Right, the next certification on this list is the EC Council CSA or the Certified SOC Analyst Certification. So this certification is specifically for those of you who are interested in becoming an SOC analyst. I know many of you guys are interested in this entry level role in cybersecurity and it's one of the most popular roles. The SOC analyst title can also be used interchangeably with the security analyst title depending on the company that you go into. However, unlike the GSEC certification that we just talked about, the CSA certification does require one year of experience in the network admin slash security domain, or you can waive this required year of experience by attending an official EC council training, which based on their website costs about $250, which isn't too bad of a price for a training. But of course, if you go through the experience route, then even as a student in a bachelor's or associate's program or in a bootcamp, you can likely find some kind of network admin job or some kind of IT analyst or help desk role that may allow you to get that experience while you're going through school or through a work study through college. But again, if you don't have that experience already, then you can go through through the course route and that'll work just as well. And the cost to purchase the exam voucher to take the exam is $450. And because I've made many videos on this channel around SOC analysts and what they do, I'll link one below if you guys want to learn more, but that will kind of give you an idea of what to expect or the types of concepts to expect on the exam itself. The target audience for this exam or essentially the candidates who want to take the exam are SOC analysts, entry-level security professionals, network security admins, security engineers, there are 100 questions on the exam to be completed in about three hours and you need a score of 70% to pass. And the exam is multiple choice. 
And in terms of the high level topics to expect on the exam, the NIC 2.0 framework, the SOC workflow, working with SIEMs, incident detection and threat intelligence, SIEM deployment, and then hands-on learning, working through a real-time lab environment simulation. So basically everything related to SOCs that you probably need to know on the job anyway, which makes this one of the best certifications to get if you're interested in becoming an SOC analyst. All right, the next certification on this list is probably one of my favorite and that is the Security Plus. But of course I am biased because I took this certification when I had about a year of experience. And I also have a video on how I passed that certification, which I can link in the description below. But the Security Plus certification is one of those very foundational early career certifications for cybersecurity professionals that teaches you a very broad breadth of knowledge, just like the GSEC certification. But I do think that the Security Plus definitely has a bit more popularity just because a lot of employers may look for the certification, especially when you're an entry level person. And it really can make you stand out a bit more compared to your other entry level candidates or peers that may be applying to the same job. So on CompTIA's official website, they state that Security Plus is a global certification that validates the baseline skills necessary to perform core security functions and pursue an IT security career. One reason why employers may want their candidates to have the Security Plus is because of the fulfillment of the DoD 8570 compliance and it is also compliant with the ISO 17024 standards. The topics covered in the Security Plus are attacks, threats, vulnerabilities, architecture and design, implementation, operations, and incident response, governance, risk, and compliance. And in terms of the roles at hire for a cybersecurity professional with the Security Plus are security admins, security engineers, security analysts, IT auditors, DevOps and software developers, network slash cloud engineers. Basically many of the roles that I see you guys mentioned you are interested in in the comments. The exam itself has a maximum of 90 questions. It is multiple choice and performance based, which means there are questions where they may show you some kind of diagram. You may need to fill in some blanks or drag and drop things. An exam is about 90 minutes long. And on a scale of out of 900, you'll need to get 750 to pass. They have some recommended experience on the CompTIA official website for the Security Plus, but you don't actually need any years of experience to take the exam. It's more so like a suggestion, but their recommended experience is the network plus and having at least two years of experience which again you don't need but they're mentioning that it's a nice to have so overall i do think the security plus is one of the most straightforward certifications that you can get in your early career as a security professional and it also just opens a lot of doors for you in terms of the types of jobs that you can apply to and the types of roles that companies will consider you for and because this is an entry-level certification video, I do have to mention the next runner-ups right after the CompTIA Security Plus, and we're just gonna talk about them together, and they are the CompTIA Network Plus and A Plus. And these two are probably the other most popular entry-level certifications that CompTIA has to offer. Typically, it's recommended that these are taken before the Security Plus, just because the Security Plus is kind of a step above these two certifications. But again, these two are a bit more niche or more catered towards someone who is just getting started in cybersecurity with less of a cybersecurity background as someone who may be taking the security plus. But again, depending on the roles that you're applying to, if you want to become a network admin, then maybe just taking a certification like the network plus is enough rather than going for the security plus that is super broad and covers a lot more than networking, especially when you already know what you want to do for your career and the area that you want to stay in. So there's always going to be pros and cons of which certification to choose. But again, it depends on where you want to go in your career. So starting out with the Network Plus, the actual concepts covered in the exam are network fundamentals, implementations, network operations, network security, as well as network troubleshooting. So pretty typical concepts for roles like network admins, network engineers, support technicians, sysadmins, and different roles like that that are more so related to the networking side. The exam itself also has a maximum of 90 questions like the Security Plus. The total length is also 90 minutes and you have to get a 720 out of a 900 point scale to pass the exam. And again, there is no required experience for the Network Plus, but there is a recommended experience that CompTIA just recommends, and that is completing your A Plus, as well as nine to 12 months of experience. So you don't need to pass the A Plus or have actual years of experience, but they're just saying it's a nice to have. And then of course, moving into the CompTIA A Plus, which is probably the OG most 
entry level you can get for cybersecurity professionals. The CompTIA A plus is typically for IT support roles and it does require candidates to pass two exams, which both together are called the, the CompTIA A plus core series with the core one exam and the core two exam. The topics covered in the A plus are hardware, operating systems, software troubleshooting, networking, just general troubleshooting, security, mobile devices, virtualization, and cloud computing, as well as operational procedures. The typical jobs that look for an A plus in their candidates are help desk technicians, support specialists, service technicians, network engineers, and junior sysadmins. So when taking the A+, just make sure that you know that you're going to be taking two separate exams because you need both exams to be able to be considered for the actual A+, certification. And it's basically the different exam concepts and topics split into two different exams. Each exam has 90 questions each. You have 90 minutes per exam to complete. The recommended experience is 9 to 12 months of hands-on experience, but of course, again, not required. So definitely something to note. So out of all the CompTIA certifications on this list, the A plus is probably the most expensive if you combine both exams as well as the most time consuming, but it's also considered the most entry level. So if you're someone who is dedicated and you already know that you want to go into cybersecurity, then I would definitely consider the A plus and a network plus when deciding which cert to go for. But otherwise, I think if you're specifically looking for a CompTIA certification, the Security Plus is probably one of the better ways to go just because it's more in-depth and more employers are going to want to hire someone with their Security Plus. But again, it all depends on the roles that you want to go into. Alright, and the two runner-up beginner certifications in cybersecurity on this list that I just want to give an honorable mentions to are the CCNA or the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification and the associate version of the CISSP, which is just the SSCP, or the Systems Security Certified Professional Certification. So just like it sounds, the CCNA certification is specifically for Cisco and all the technologies in that space. But if you're someone who is interested in networking and things on the RT architecture or hardware side, then it's definitely a good certification to get since many big companies use Cisco technologies as well as smaller to medium-sized companies. It's definitely a lot more niche compared to the more general cybersecurity beginner certifications on this list. But again, it depends on if you want to go into something more niche. And then the SSCP is for those who may want to become network security engineers, system admins, security analysts, systems engineers, security consultants, and basically pretty general cybersecurity roles around the board. So I'll put some information on the screen for both of these certifications if you're potentially interested in any of these. But hopefully this video gave you an idea of the potential certifications you can get and of course based on the level of experience that you already have. Even if you don't have any real job experience, there are already certifications that you can get started and study for. And for those of you who may have already had some background in cybersecurity, you can probably study for these certifications in a month or two and be able to pass. And again, out of this list, I've taken my CompTIA Security Plus certification and I can link the video of how I passed my certification in the description. And of course, if there are any other cybersecurity beginner certifications that you would add to this list that I missed, I'm sure there are others out there that I just couldn't squeeze into a 15 minute video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!